Hello everyone. In today's tutorial I will explain you how to install Zabbix Agent version 5 on Windows 10 operating system. I will briefly tell you what a Zabbix agent is, what types of agent exist and how to install a Zabbix agent on the Windows 10 operating system. And if you want more information you can find it on Zabbix official website. Zabbix can be deployed for agent-based and agentless monitoring. Agents are installed on IT components to check performance and collect data. For example, hard drives, memory, CPU statistic, etc. And then forward it to a central unit for storage and visualization. It runs on any modern operating system and it's very flexible because its functionality can be extended with scripts and modules. If there are any issues regarding what is being monitoring, Zabbix will send a notification or alert to the user. Zabbix agent can perform passive and active checks. And what is the difference between them? In a passive check, the agent responds to a data request. Zabbix server or proxy asks for data, for example CPU load, and Zabbix agent then sends back the result. And active checks require more complex processing. The agent must first of all retrieve a list of items from Zabbix server for independent processing. Then it will be periodically sent values to the server. Uh, whether to perform passive or active checks, it uh, is configured by selecting the respective monitoring item type. You can choose type Zabbix agent or Zabbix agent active. And now installing. Installing the Zabbix agent is very easy. To install the Zabbix agent on Windows 10, we need to do a few steps. And first is to open the browser and now type Zabbix. Open the official Zabbix website and click on the download button in the upper right corner. Now click on Zabbix agent, scroll down slightly, select Windows operating system and version 5 long term support and in the Zabbix release field check version 5 and now click on download agent. When the download is complete, open my computer, local disk C, and now create new folder, name it Zapix. Now open your download folder and close and extract your downloaded file into your new created Zabbix folder. Next thing we need to do is to open the Windows Terminal as administrators and type a simple command to install the Zabbix agent. In the input field in the Windows taskbar, here, here you can type cmd. Now run as administrator. Now type cd dot dot cd dot dot now dir to list our files and here you can see our new created Zapix folder now to come in I first type cd Zapix now dir to list files and folders and you can see bin and configuration folder. 
that is here. And now to install, type next command. CD dot dot. And now Zabbix slash bin slash Zabbix agent exe minus C and here C slash Zabbix folder conf. Now, Zabbix agent conf minus e, enter. And you can see your Zabbix agent is installed successfully. And now, to start our Zabbix agent, type cd Zabbix here, cd bin there and here is our exe file now type exe minus minus start enter and you can see Zabbix agent is started successfully now we have to change a few parameters and how to do that at first minimize your windows now open your notepad Plus plus file open local disk C Zabbix configuration Zabbix agent configuration now open and what we need to change at first server and server active. Here is server. Here you have to type your Zabbix agent IP address. Uh, if you want to check your Zabbix IP address, you can do that in a few ways. Uh, one way and simple way is to type IPA, and I will show you that right now. Your Ubuntu host where your Zabbix uh, server is installed, type IPA. And here you can see your IP address. And just copy into your Zabbix agent configuration file. Now delete and copy. Now find server active. Okay. Okay. Do this. Okay. And now, next parameter is host name. Host name is Windows host. Change this name with your host name. You can check your host name by right clicking clicking on my computer. Now properties and in line computer name you can see my host name. It is really important that the 
host name is set up the same in the Zabbix server as in the Zabbix agent in order for communication to be successful. Now save. And now we will check if everything works successfully. Now open your Zabbix server, click on the configuration. Now hosts. And now host create host icon in the upper right corner. And for host name, you need to type same host name in your Zabbix agent. Paste groups. Click on select. Now template operating system. And for IP address, you have to type your IP address from Windows host. To check your IP address, just type in your Windows terminal. IP config. I will show you now. Just open your terminal and type IP config. And you can see here that is my IP address and the same address I have to type in our Zabbix server. Now copy your IP address. That is OK. Now click on templates. Then on select. Then in field host group, select and choose template operating system. Select template operating systems. And now Templates Operating System Windows by, by Zabbix Agent. Now click Add. And as you can see, our new host is just created. If you do not want to wait too long, you can simply type the next command. Minus R config enter and command is sent sexually. And as you can see, after a few minutes, the server has connected to the agent and everything is working fine. If you have problem to connect your server and agent, you can also stop your Zabbix agent service in your Windows host, on your Windows host, and then again start. Thank you for your watching.